Hey guys, what's up, Green Machine Sam? Back with another video, and today we have another NBA 2K23 roster update guide. Now, we are going to go through a couple things first before we hop into the actual roster itself. First and foremost, this is a PS5 roster. Sorry to anybody who plays on PC or Xbox. I know there's a, I would assume there's probably a pretty decent modding community behind the rosters on PC. I know the PC, uh, you know, version isn't super highly regarded right now. Just because even on 2K24, they still haven't updated to the new system of the My Eras and stuff like that. So I understand there isn't a whole big community right now on PC. Xbox, I'm sorry, I just don't have an Xbox. I play all my Xbox games through my PC, so it just doesn't make sense for me to go out and get an Xbox. Sorry, it just doesn't make sense. I do not have 2K23 for the PS4 version either, so I won't be doing that, those rosters either. Like I said, this is strictly a PS5 roster. I'm sorry to anybody that, you know finds that unfortunate but it's just the case and it's something that i've been doing for a while any and all future 2ks and any and all future madden's will be on ps5 at minimum anything after that is extra i will say but let's get into some things so of course with some trades happening over the last couple weeks leading up to the trade deadline here in a little bit i think the all-star games in a couple weeks something like that so of course there's going to be lots of trades now, I am making this video on Wednesday, the 31st, I think it is. Is it the 31st? Yes. January 31st of 2024. So, if anything has happened after basically when I'm making this video, sorry, I will have the roster updated. It just won't be showing in this video. Now, of course, here's a couple things I do want to go over with that as well, is the simple fact that things are to change with you know, the roster, mainly trades, free agency, stuff like that. And there's some, there's some teams that I can't get 100% correct just because of the limitations of what 2K puts on the rosters themselves. Like the Grizzlies were just granted three hardships because of all the injuries they're having. You know, I think Smart's out for an extended period of time. Bain, Morant, Adams. Um, I know a couple of their de depth pieces are out for, you know, day to day and stuff like that. And I have created a couple other rosters that you guys will see as well, and I'll, we can go over as well. So that is something we will go over here soon. What's the last thing that I was thinking of? Uh, I'll, if I think of it, I'll remind. Uh, I'll say it out loud, of course. So, create roster. Oh, and then another thing is my internet hasn't been exactly great. My upload speed is not very good. I'm not even getting a megabyte up. Like, my download speeds are fine, so I'm still able to get on games, but I can't play online games because of the upload speed, and I can't upload videos right now. Like, I have, like, multiple videos that I have ready to go that I can't upload, so I only have one on my YouTube page that I can even push out to you guys currently at the moment, so that is something that will happen. I'm still able to upload the rosters. They do upload eventually, but let's get into things. So first, of course, you do want to go to Create Roster. NBA Modern Current User Created, this middle one here, once it finally does load, um, and you might be, and then search by online ID, Green Machine Sam, you might be like, oh, well, why did it take a second there to get online? Because it does have to send upload, it does have to upload, you know, stuff, I, I'm not quite sure what to the server, so it's Green Machine Sam, big letter should be popping underneath here, that I will edit on to later. And here are two new rosters. So, there are a grand total of six rosters. And they should spell out basically what they are, right? So, every single one that has that doesn't have a no injuries or no minor injuries in the title, those have injuries. Those have an extended injury. So, basically, I basically went through on the 29th and I said, hey, if... This person is expected to be out until March or end of February. They are getting put, put on injured, and I will go ahead and injure them in the game. And I'll show you guys how to deactivate those as well, since some people were asking about that. Now, this one has no injuries across the board. No injuries, no suspensions, no nothing. So John Morant's back. Steven Adams back. You know, guys that tore their ACLs, Achilles. All those major injuries, those guys are back as well. This one is just minor injuries. So this is the guys that are out for long periods of time. Those guys will still be injured. You know, the Steven Adams, John Morant, those type of guys, the Lonzo Balls, those guys will be 
continue to be out, but everything else will be not injured. So the month guys, the two month guys, three month guys, those guys will not be injured. Now you could, you know, argue that two months or more is a major injury, which I kind of agree. It's more of the month to month guys. It's more of the week to week guys, which these rosters do not have week to week guys injured anyway. I just don't feel like having to update the roster every single week just because some dude is coming back from a, you know, finger injury or something, right? So let's hop into it. So NBA 2K23 update, NBA 2K24 roster on 2K23, NBA 2K24 roster update, and NBA 2K23 offseason are all the same. No injury, of course, no injuries, and then no minor injuries as well. Hopefully you guys can spell those out for yourself. And somebody asked why I do why I search by online ID. It brings up all the rosters. You can pick whichever one you choose from. You can download, and then you can you know it. It, it just makes it easier than having people trying to get people to spell out the names of the rosters correctly. So of course, overalls, age, and contracts are all generally good. Now there are some players missing here, two way guys, stuff like that. If the two way guys were either easy easily found or easily made i did go ahead and get them done some guys i'm it's just not really worth putting on especially some of the grizzly guys that they are picking up on the hardships those guys just don't make sense for me to do i did go through and and guarantee that all jersey numbers are correct there are actually two jersey numbers i cannot get correct for some reason uh and it's not because multiple players are wearing the same jerseys or the jersey number hasn't been updated or stuff like that um there are just reasons why uh and i'll show you those guys now of course like i said age contracts um most of the players are correct i still want to get one or two of the bulls players done that are their like 14th and 15th guys or no it would be the 15th and 16th guys but they're not super big concerns i would assume you guys won't care if those guys are gone it's more about the top 13 if anything and like i said injuries are here so a lot of the guys are out right now in terms of the guys that are out for at least a month or so. I do, like I said, have ages, contracts, uh, overalls, all that fun stuff. Those are have all been updated for the most part. Positions aren't going to be entirely the same from 2K24 to 2K23 here. Mainly because some of the positions I move around just based on uh, rotation, stuff like that. Who can get the top 10 guys onto the floor? You know, stuff like that. So one of the jersey numbers is, of course, DeAndre Jordan. For some reason, you can just not change him to number six in the quick edits or in the edit player. So that is one that you will see that is incorrect. Another one is currently technically Kyle Lowry as he is supposed to wear number seven. But, of course, one of the Hornets already wears number seven. Uh, you know, Bryce McGowan's. So, and with Kyle Lowry probably getting released and bought out by the Charlotte Hornets, I'd assume he won't end up paying for a jersey number. It says Terry Rozier online wears number two, but then in 2K24 on their official roster, he was wearing number 12. So that's why when you see in the screenshots that I've already taken from 2K24, that, the, that his jersey number will be technically incorrect. Which is weird. You know, 2K didn't even get his jersey number correct. Or I don't know if he is wearing 12. I have no idea. Those are the couple guys that I can remember off the top of my head that don't have correct jersey numbers. I don't know why. You know, some of them, it doesn't really matter all that much. But then others like DeAndre Jordan, who is going to actively be playing on his team. And I can't change his jersey number to jersey number 6. I have no idea why that's the case. But it is. Like I said, the roster is really good. A lot of the guys are here. I've added some more important guys for you guys if they're on, if they were on uh 2k23's roster to begin with i just had to probably update their age their contracts all that fun stuff and change their overalls a little bit but it's still a very good roster if you're still playing 2k23 like i am i've tried playing 2k24 i haven't particularly enjoyed it plus i play a de decent amount of my career well not a decent amount i play it sometimes when i get on 2k23 or i'm playing my eras and whether it's maybe I already have a good My Eras going or my, my career is already pretty decent as I'm an 88 on there. You know, there's just multiple different things of why I haven't moved on to 2K24. I haven't liked the feeling as much. Who knows, maybe the more I play it, the more I'm going to enjoy it. But as of right now, I'm still playing 2K23. So the roster will be even in better shape than I think 2K22 was. 
Now, of course, there is some stuff that people are concerned about. Contracts cannot be 100% just because of how the cap situation works in 2K and just various other reasons that I'm just not able to complete. I wish I were able to complete a lot of those because, of course, it would be better. It would create a more realistic approach. But, you know, if I'm giving somebody max money on 2K23, it's still going to count for max money when you go into the My Eras and play, right? So, the number isn't as important as the value in terms of the cap hit, in my opinion. Now, of course, you could argue against that and stuff. And somebody else asked, this was before the 2K22 servers got shut down, is it like, why is somebody's year wrong in their age? And I said, and I had to like explain like, well, I have to update their age, right? Because it's been a season, it's been two seasons, it's been whatever. So I, I think it's more important for their age to actually be correct than their birth year when you're not going to really care about in the long run, right? I think that's something that somebody new to 2K or somebody new to roster updates might not understand as much is I'm going for a roster where you can play your my eras and it's going to feel correct. You're going to be able to play it and stuff is going to progress correctly, right? You don't need DeAndre Ayton being, you know, 23 years old or however old he would be if I didn't update his age and a rookie comes out and is only a year younger than him and he's been in the league for four years or five years or whatever. You know, I think it's been four years. So, there's all that. Um, I can't think of anything else. Hopefully, I can get this video out soon. Hopefully, my Wi-Fi speed is fixed here shortly. Like I said, my download speed is fine. Um, before anybody asks, yes, I've tried the basic stuff. If you guys are seeing this pretty, you know, uh, soon. Yes, I've tried the basic stuff. I've turned tried turning it off for 30 seconds, a minute, five minutes, an hour, stuff like that. I've tried reconnecting the cables, all that fun stuff. Just nothing seems to be working. I'm trying to get my internet provider to like actually look, look at it on the back end and see if it's just something's wrong. Um, I have some other stuff that I'm going to try later, but I just figured I'd record this video while I have the chance, hopefully get it edited uh, and all that fun stuff and get, at least try to push it out. If it doesn't get pushed out, then whatever. But hope you guys enjoyed this video or any of the videos here on my channel. Hopefully this was a little bit of a longer uh, roster video and i forgot to show you guys one thing so we're just going to show you guys on lamello ball lonzo ball real quick for people wondering how to get rid of injuries there's one way and this is the quickest way to do it so first you want to quick edit okay it will be your little three line dashes across next to your triangle button click that it will say you have activated the quick edit menu uh mode when in quick edit mode, you can quickly and easily edit players, attributes, badges, all that fun stuff. And then press that to apply, and then press the same button to apply your changes. Now, this is where you can change, you know, ratings, tendencies is here. And how to get to this is you push triangle. If you push triangle, you can change what you're changing. So now I'm on uh, durability. Now I'm on badges. Now I'm on hot zones. Now I'm on information. And then for information, you want to go all the way over until you get to injury type and then scroll to, and it's all in alphabetical order for the most part. Some stuff is out of order for some reason. I don't know why. Like left, what, what was that? Left thigh cramps is for some reason in the T's instead of just being under the L's. And then you can make him healthy. He goes back up. His overall is good. He's good to go. And then if you were to do this for some reason, let's say you just wanted one particular player not injured, confirm changes, boom, he's back, he's no longer injured, go over to, of course, the uh, rotations, you can take one minute off of whoever you want, have CPU rebuild, and it should put the roster in what it thinks is the best uh, rotation, just in terms of overalls and stuff like that. That's how you guys do that. Like I said, uh, don't forget to save the rosters, all that fun stuff. If you guys want easy access to the rosters, especially when going in and creating my eras. This is a little bit longer of a 2K roster update guide. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. I will have 2K24 roster updates coming out shortly, hopefully, depending on whether or not I feel like doing anything during the season. Like I said in my Madden video, with new games, especially with 2K, they seem to handle a lot of their rosters pretty good. So there's no reason for me to update it because I'm just going to be using their overalls and stuff like that. And a lot of the stuff, they get done relatively quickly. 
there is some stuff that they don't get done super quickly, but their rosters are still pretty good. Madden's are pretty good for the most part as well. So there's not a whole ton of updates that I make during the season, but once the season ends and the off season kicks in and a lot of the moves start to be made, I will go ahead and start updating 2K24 as well. So currently there's only going to be one 2K in rotation. This happens every single year for about six months. Only one 2K is in rotation, so that will be 2K23. Like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video or any other videos here on my channel. Hopefully you guys like any of the, my stuff and choose to stick around. I'd appreciate it. We're grinding. We're past 2,000 subs. I appreciate all the support that you guys have showed the channel over the last couple months. With that being said, guys, I'm out. Peace.